What is up, everyone? It's Wack, and welcome you to week nine of EDC. This week, we're up against CB Hulk. Um, he has a interesting nine-man team with Gouging Fire, Lilligant, Hisui, uh, Terra, Lilligant, Hisui, Gliscor, Muk, Alola, Thunderous, Terra, Zorak, Hisui, and in the back, he had a Florgis and a Slow King. I forgot the last mon he had. It might have been like some ultra low tier I didn't even really prep for. Um, I am bringing Trapagos with Terra Star Storm, Ice Beam, Rapid Spin, and Toxic. Basically meant to just keep hazards off the field because Gliscor can be very annoying. Um, we have a Metagross with Explosion, Knock Off, Light Screen, and Reflect. Um, it's supposed to set up screens basically for one of my mons to win the end game. I have two kind of win cons. Uh, we brought Superior with Leaf Storm, Terra Blast, Sub Leech, um, with Terra Ground. It's basically meant to kind of take on everything. Thunderous really can't take two Leaf Storms in a row, and I'm faster than everything on his team. Yeah, Thunderous is his fastest Mon, so I um, figured that would work pretty well for me. Um, and in case he hard switches in Muck, I can kind of just Sub Leech pretty much until I'll it dies, and then I can set up like a Leaf Storm as it's dying, which is pretty cool for me. Um, we have a Diancy with Diamond Storm, Body Press, Spikes, and Rocks with um, Terra Flying. Uh, our next set is Blastoise with Shell Smash, Wave Crash, Fling, and Earthquake holding a Big Nugget. Uh, my opponent did have a Slow King, and I had no way to kill it. Uh, Fling Big Nugget with Shell Smash would have uh, killed most defensive Slow Kings. Um, well, it would have killed, like, Max Fizz Def Slow King most of the time, basically. And our last set is Palmot with Close Combat. Um, close Combat, Double Shock, Ice Punch, and Nuzzle. Um, basically, it's just meant to do a lot of damage to his team and see what happens from there and yeah without further ado let's get started i fucking hate that why does it have to be so loud why can't it just like why can't the showdown replays just have like a toggle you know for volume so it doesn't like blast your fucking ears away but anyways um, I'm gonna lead Palma. He actually leads Gliscor. I'm like, okay, he might protect here or he might go for like spikes. Um, I'm just gonna go for Ice Punch and it just kills him. I'm like, okay, I'm in a good spot right now. Palma kind of can take on anything and just click Nuzzle. So I'm gonna click Close Combat. I thought maybe he'd tear the Thunderous here into Electric type because, you know, I just clicked Ice Punch and like, do you really want to take an Ice Punch? And I, I guess the answer is yeah, because I'm pretty sure Ice Punch killed this thing. But anyways, uh, I also should have double shocked because I put myself in range of dying to Sludge Bomb. But it's whatever. He's going to Sludge Bomb. He's going to get the Sludge Bomb poison. doesn't really matter. I mean, well, it kind of does matter because Palma... Wait, Palma was faster. I just realized. Interesting. But yeah, I thought maybe he'd Terra there. But I think he's saving Terra for a little again. I'm like, well, bye, Palma. I'm going to go into Diancy's. He brings out his other Thunderous and a Stealth Rock. He's going to trick Scarf to me as I Diamond Storm. I get the defense boost, and I reveal that it's actually Zoroark. I mean, pretty obvious. Um, he's going to Bitter Malice, which doesn't really do that much. As I'm just Scarf locked into Diamond Storm. And I'm at plus three defense, so... Now he's going to bring in Lilligan. I'm like, well, I'm kind of screwed because Victory Dance actually gives plus defense. I'm like, well, Diamond Storm is not going to do that much, is it? So, yeah, I'm going to be forced to switch out into Metagross here. Um, I do. He is Terra Ghost, and he is going to knock me out. I'm like, well, I'm kind of screwed, aren't I? I really should have ran, like, Cassib Berry or, like, whatever the Ghost Berry is. I think it's Cassib. I should have ran Cassib on Metagross because I was also a little bit worried about Zoroark. But, um, yeah, kind of in a bad situation. I'm going to go into Trapagos now. As he Leaf Blades, it does about 30% to me. And I'm going to Ice Beam. I can't tear Star Storm because he's a Ghost type. He's going to Close Combat and it's going to kill me. 
And then I'm gonna bring out Diancie. I'm forced to Terrasalize into Flying type here because everything else kills me. He's gonna Leaf Blade, which gets a crit, which kind of sucks for me because I think without the crit, I might have been able to live this Terra Blast. Actually, probably not, probably not. I think I died regardless. He's gonna close combat, just kill my Superior. Superior ending the season with zero kills. Very cool Terramon. And Blastoise is gonna die to Leaf Blade and I'm gonna lose. Now, will I say that I played very well this battle? Absolutely not. I really think, I, I think I, I deserve to lose this battle because I just did not play well. Um, I probably should have, like, I could have went into Diancy like on the Thunderous, like hard Diancy on the Thunderous, I think. And I could have kept Palma around or I could have clicked Double Shock and Double Shock would have like killed. Cause as you saw, like it was at 50% before it died. So, well, it took, it took like 49% from close combat. So double shock would have done like 98 and it wouldn't have, um, it wouldn't have dropped my defense and then sludge bomb wouldn't even have killed me. So what I should have done there is definitely double shocked or, or ice punch. I could have ice punched as well, but I double shock was a little bit safer, um, in case he terrestrialized. Uh, and if he did Terrasalize, then I would have just killed with close to combat the next turn. So, yeah, Double Shock was definitely the play. And then I would have had a Palma around for, like, whatever else comes in. I guess Zorark would just revenge kill me. But the fact that I lost Palma a little bit earlier than I wanted to kind of sucked. Um, truth be told, though, I was not very prepped for Zorark or Lilligant. Um, so he kind of got me there. And I will say, I kept this guy. I, I think him winning kept him in temporal for next season so good possibility i'll see him next season um unfortunately my loss brought me from third seed to fourth by one differential and it was to a guy that i literally won against so that kind of sucks but i will say like it feels good to beat like a lot of the top seed players i beat the top seed i, I think i was their only loss all season i beat third seed the one that just beat me out um that was isaac and i think second seed was lemon and i didn't face lemon this season but i mean considering i beat two of the top three but i also beat like two of the or i also lost to two of like the bottom three so um a little bit embarrassing but you know what it's fine we still made it to playoffs i should always be getting fourth seed here and so, I mean, seeding really doesn't matter. It was more just like, I kind of wanted to win this battle just to win it. Um, and you know, like it might be weird that this team was so slow and I didn't think to bring Torn. Um, kind of wish I brought Torn. I also kind of wish I brought like Mirror Herb on like something like Metagross, like an offensive Metagross with Mirror Herb would have went ham. Diancy with a special move also would have went ham like if I just ran Moonblast and there was a few Diancies I was like you know what I think I wanted to tear Diancy but you know Superior has done nothing all season it was a 17 point mon with the tear attacks and you know what Superior was like absolute garbage the entire season like it I like it glared a Rillaboom I don't know, I'll get into this like after I lose uh, playoffs or win playoffs, you know. I'm not gonna automatically assume I lose, but I probably will lose. <laughs> Cause truth be told, I don't wanna keep playing in more than three leagues. So you might be seeing me like throw accidentally. I'm not gonna, ac I'm not gonna throw, but like I kinda, I'm tempted to just throw, but I am, I am going to try, and if I win, then I win. If I lose, then whatever. I just delete my team off the dock, and like honestly, this team is not that bad. I got I went six three, and it really doesn't feel like it because I feel like I won like all the games that were like super big to me. Um, my biggest loss I feel like was against Wheat. Well, technically this was my biggest loss because my other two losses were like a zero two and a zero one loss. This was my biggest loss. Actually, yeah, I lost more Pokemon. I lost more differential in this game than I've lost in my other two games combined. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, GG's to CB Hulk. Hopefully I see you next season so I can kick your ass. 
Um, and yeah, I will see you guys for playoffs next week. I think we might be facing Charizard, but other games haven't been played yet, so I'm not exactly sure. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see. And thank you again for watching.